Hello, darlings. Happy Wednesday to all of you buggers out there. And welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome, welcome <laughs> to part three of the Boutique Batiste or Batiste Batu Boutique. I don't know what way I put it. I got confused with my video from yesterday. What way did I do it? Just have a look. Let's have a little goosey 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 with each other, shall we? Yes, we will. Boutique Batiste. Welcome. Part three. Part three today. We are cracking on with a bit more of this building. Shocker. I know. Going to be doing the interior probably like the ground floor level. Upstairs if we can. We'll make a start. But I don't think that we will today. I think we will probably just concentrate on the main shop floor area itself today. That is what is going to happen yesterday's. So, yes, let's crack on in and I'm going to point out what I've done so far. Just more papers and stuff. And then a few ideas from you guys and what I also really want from this building as well. So, without further ado, let's get into building. So then, my loves, here we are. We're back at the Boutique Baptiste. Baptiste Boutique. <laughs> Should have done it the other way around, really. I've got so many French people saying, you're missing a P. And I know that it's spelt that way in French, but... That's just the way I'm spelling it for the Sims. You're getting yourselves in a confuddle. I'm just, yeah, that's just the way I'm spelling it. You know, Sims, not real life. There we go. So, this is going to be the interior. I want to go very classy. Very Chanel. Very, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this just yet. So, we're going to work it out together. This is what I've done so far. Put some marble on the floor. Use this lovely wallpaper from Vintage Glamour. I just like the reflectance on it. Um, I've taken away the screens that I had here because one of you guys had a really, really great idea. So, this is what we're going to try and do. And we're going to start straight away. One of you guys said, why don't you put one of the Moschino screens behind the mannequins? And I can change the backdrop to that then. Now, look how fucking ugly it is from this side. But my thoughts were, I did test this. Did test it. Testicles. Did test it. And it appeared to have worked. What I did is just... Oh, for goodness. I can't get used to this new keyboard. I can't get used to this new keyboard at all. Just putting that in front of it. Maybe we could put some shelves on there then. I think the Sims can still get in here and change the mannequins. Hopefully they can because that would just be a dream. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to flop these screens all the way along. Yes, we are indeed. Behind the mannequins. And I'm going to do like a different collection for each look on the mannequins. I thought that was a great idea from one of you guys. So I was just like, yes, that's happening. And yes, we're doing it. So that's what's happening. Yes, 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 yes. Still hungover. <laughs> Four days in. Oh, I don't... I can't do it. I cannot do it anymore. Um, And I'm fine with that. I'm literally fine with that. I'm not a huge drinker anyway, really. Um, And I really wanted to see my friends. That's the re reasons why I did go out and get crunk and drunk. Crunk. Oh, Aiden. Do shush. <laughs> but, um, yes. Still feeling like shit. But this was my thoughts. And then we can change each of the mannequin to whatever... It doesn't necessarily have to be seasons, just maybe a different collection. And then we can change the backdrop to kind of match the collection so you can see it from the, like the outside. <laughs> All that idea. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to use the same plaster on this, I think, just so it blends into the back walls and doesn't stand out too much. We need to rectify the lighting as well now because this is capturing all the light in the front. So what I'm going to do is put one of these in each in the front of each of one of these. That was great English there, Aiden. That is not symmetrical. Thank you. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to plop one right in front of each of these. Now, is that a little bit too far in there? Uh, oh, it is. Uh, <laughs> everything's um, everything's going to be hard. Tomorrow, I will be fresh as a daisy. You watch. I will come on to tomorrow's video... And I'm going to be like, do you know what? I feel a million pesetas. And um, <laughs> I will. I'll feel so much better tomorrow. Just got to, just got to ride up the week, haven't you, loves? Really? So, yeah, you see what I mean? That's kind of like blended that away a little bit now. So now what I could do is put some shelving up on here. Or because I mean, I'm going to do a desk around here, I think. This is going to be like the, the front kind of 
desk area where they come and buy all their clothing and stuff. And I was thinking of kind of overlapping these with a nice um, front desk. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do there just yet. And it's going to be pretty hard to make this look like a clothing store because... We haven't really got any retail items that make it look like clothing store stuff. I know we've got the stuff from um, base game. The oh, Let's get rid of debug and live edit because it's going to confuse us. With all of like, the, the, the clothes hung up on those shelves. But if I remember rightly, well, I, I do remember. They're not very nice. Why am I looking in there? We should be in here. And like these here and the shelves will look a bit naff with them. I think I'm looking for my swatches. <laughs> This is going to be hard, but I have remembered that R is the um, the hotkey to be able to get my swatches up. So I, just can't, I can't cycle through anymore. Never mind. I'm not getting rid of this keyboard. I love it. I absolutely love it. You see what I mean? That's just not the vibe I want to go for for in here. So it's probably going to have to look very minimal, this shop, um, considering we don't have much that will make it look like a clothes store. The only things that will make it look like a clothes store are the Moschino, or Mosh, I don't know how you say it, don't care. Um, these here. I mean, we could put one of them in front of each one of these. That could be a vibe, you know? And then I could do like a little thing in the middle with like the clothes like piled on top of them, maybe. Maybe we could do that. But the only problem with that, as soon as you change the swatches, <laughs> I'm going to learn how to do it, I promise. The whole frame changes and we can't use a lot of them because I do want to stick with kind of a monochrome vibe. I mean, that's not too bad. I could use that. It's got wood on the bottom, but I don't know. Let's try. Let's put one in front of each of these because I was going to do shelves, but then what the hell do we put on the shelves there, you know? And we could make this look quite kind of interesting, I reckon. Um, oh, I don't know if I can use that one though because the, the desk is going to be there. Oh, we'll try it. Why not? Why not? We're going to put one there and then I'm going to put one there and I'm going to change the swatches once I've um, placed them down on top of these. Okay. Oh, look at me learning the hotkeys after how many years has The Sims been out? <laughs> how many years? Many, many years. <laughs> that one looks far too similar. Can we have a different one here? Don't really mind the fact that they're changing... To be honest with you, now that I've got them down, it's kind of like sitting in. That dress looks exactly the same as that one. Can we like mix it up a little bit? There we go. That's a bit better. Yes. And then I'll change this one here for um, maybe the pure white one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, that gives me a vibe. That gives me a vibe that I'm happy with. And then maybe I could do a shelf above it. I don't know what we're going to be able to put on the shelves, but I'm going to put some above it anyway. Yes, I am. So I'm going to get a shelf and I don't know what shelf to use though because it needs to be kind of plain looking, um, very minimal, a little bit modern to be honest with you. So maybe the snowy escape ones because they're quite, oh no, they don't come in matching tones and the grey would look weird there, wouldn't it? I wanted it in black to be honest with you, love. Um, not you, sweetheart. Absolutely not you. Maybe like the chromey looking ones. Oh, that could be a vibe. And then we could put some mirrors behind it, maybe. Ah, <gasps> that could be a vibe. Let's um see how many of these we can get. And I reckon I could get on three on each wall. Is that hanging off? No, it's not. Oh, do you know what? I think this might work. So I'm going to do one, two, three there. And then one, two, three on this side as well. I pulled out a mixture of chairs as well for them to kind of sit on, maybe try some shoes on or something. And I've gone for the one from, is that get to work or get together? And also the Moschino one as well. So I don't know what one we're going to use. I'm probably going to um, lean down the lines of maybe this one. I think this one would suit the vibe in here a lot better. But also these as well. Maybe we could sell some trinkets on them or something. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm keeping everything over there for the minute anyway until I've got all of this mapped out how I want it around this area. Yes, I'm, I'm here for that. I am. Do I want to do some um, pillars? Do I want to do some columns here? Like on each edge of this? I mean, do these light up again? I can't remember. I hate the swatches on these, to be honest with you. But um, do they light up? I cannot remember for the life of me. Do you light up? Oh, what are you? Are you lit? No, you're not. You're just weird. What about the get to famous one? Let me find a column. 
I like these ones. These one here from Dine Out. I think they suit the vibe of this place nicely. So I'm going to flop one either side. Hopefully the Sims can squeeze through there. <laughs> Hopefully they can. I don't know if they can, but we're going to try. And then I'll put a column on each side of it then. Yes, that's the vibe. Yeah, I'm here for that. Okay, right. Let's um get rid of those swatches there. And I want to put a mirror behind this area here. Now, this is going to be difficult because the mirrors are, again, weird height. And I'm not sure the vibe I want to portray here. No, nope, that's hanging over the edge. That one's too small. What about... Oh, I think the spa day one's going to be too big as well. It is just... Ah, uh, that would have been perfect. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to make the walls bigger. I'm going to make the walls bigger. You know, that's a vibe. Yeah, let's... Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it together. Yes. So what I'm going to do is flop these walls on instead. Absolutely. One, two, three. And if anything, you know, it looks nice. And that's all that. That's all we want, isn't it, really? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good vibe. That is a good vibe. A good vibe for a bougie, bougie shopping, um, uh, Retail unit. <laughs> what are they called again? Clothes stores. I haven't been in one for so long. I've forgotten what they're called, loves. And I hate shopping for clothes. Like, I like doing it online. Loves doing it online. But I, had, I don't like going shopping, shopping. I love going home shopping. Like, like out in shops for the house. Um, But clothes shopping, nah. I'm not about that life, to be honest with you. All that putting your clothes, that chain... Trying things on in the changing room and can't be dealing with that. Cannot be dealing with it. Yeah, no, that's a vibe. I do enjoy it. I think we need some plants here. I think we need some bougie trees. I might even put these in here as well, to be honest with you. Because I think that might look a vibe. And that's all it comes down to is vibes. Vibes, my loves. Is it a vibe? Yes, it is. So then what do you do? You vibe with it and you put it in. Yes, you do indeed. Oh, I'm for it. Yes. Should I get that same rug and put it in here too? Because I could like... No, not you, darling. I want the rug. This rug. Is it too... Oh, it's because it's small. Um, And then size you up. Maybe I could flop you there as well. Oh, do you know what? I'm not too... I'm not too... um Displeased with that, darlings. Yeah, that's a nice... That's a nice look. Oh, I'm for it. Absolutely for it, that... Um, I forgot as well what comes on these. No idea. No idea what comes on them. But we're going to um, definitely do that together. Uh, the mannequins is going to be a bit annoying to dress, I think. when I'll probably dress the mannequins uh, off of camera. And then we'll do like the backdrop together. We can maybe put some grass or something around them. And just make the bottoms look like they belong to that area too. I'm looking forward to that. I am. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. So I need a front desk. If I can go into surfaces and then filter to get to work. Uh, I know that they've got like a front desk, haven't they? This one here. Not used, darling. She would not be about used. Where's the other one? There we go. Now, do you have a... Oh, that's perfection. Perfection, that. Let me see that. Oh, I would have loved to have this on this side as well. But that's going to make that completely obsolete. That. Um, oh, I love that word obsolete but that garment's there oh do you know what we can pretend uh, i don't know i really do want this like here because it looks nice they're not going to be able to get through there anyway to be honest let me see this nah nah not having it sorry right what i'm gonna do is flop you to there bring you along to there Maybe overlap two of you to there. Is that going to be weird? No, that's nice. Oh, I like that pattern. It is slightly glitching, but I'm going to see past it. I'm going to flop you to there. And the same with you. Yeah, do you know what? I'm here for that. Do you know what would look cool back here? Greenery? Like ivy or something? With like a neon sign in the middle of it? I'm kind of for that vibe. Why don't we do that? Do you know what? I'm going to fucking do it, loves. I'm going to do it. Is that weird there? No, that's fine. It just looks too close to this. I think that's what's going on. Uh, or I could use those eco lifestyle style 
Eco lifestyle, these. Nature's blanket. I just hate the colours of them, don't you? I don't like, I wish they were just all green instead of like the orangey weird bits and stuff in them. It just stands out too much in here. I just want it to be green, to be honest. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use some ivy in here, but what I'm going to make this backdrop look like. Yes. Okay, I've got vibes. Go up. I need to know where you're going, coming from here, so I can go right up to the stair line and keep that wallpaper up there. I think what I'm going to do is change this wallpaper to like some soil looking business. Maybe we could just do a feature wall of it. That could be cool. That's not dead central though, is it? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this central to that back wall. And then I'm going to pull you to here. Let me see that. <laughs> when things like... Oh, something's vibrating. It's my love egg. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't have a love love egg. Oh. I'm joking. Oh, Aiden, you're on the internet. Stop it. <laughs> Imagine someone sitting there making a YouTube video with a love egg, love egg popped in them. I mean, I'd be, I'd be cheering them on. <laughs> I really would. But that's not me, darlings. Absolutely not me. I would not be able to concentrate if I had a love egg in. If you are unsure of what a love egg is, go and Google it. Go and Google it. And um, you're welcome. You know, the more you learn with me, isn't it, darlings? The more you absolutely learn with me. Yes, I'm feeling the vibe of having like this like bougie um, interior mixed with something really natural. I don't know why I like that. Some people's going to be like, that's disgusting. But I don't care. It's not your build, it's mine. So that's all it comes down to, isn't it, darlings? Yes. Yes, it is. So I do want a neon sign in there. But we didn't put a signage on the front, didn't we? did we? We didn't have signage on the front. So I'm feeling, I mean, this one here looks like it would be the vibe of them, doesn't it? It does look like it would be the vibe of them. Um, oh, that's pretty with it, that orange color. Oh, I like that. What I would have to do is probably get rid of a bit more of this to be able to put that in though if you know what I mean like around there Etty <laughs> um where was it it was that one wasn't it yes that's the one. Oh, I like that I'm going to sneeze give me one second yes that's what we're going to do and what I've done is change the branding on the outside as well just so it matches in well with what we've got in the interior oh, I'm kind of for it really kind of for it now this looks weird so we do need to put a little planter at the bottom here, just so it looks like the ivy is growing up from something at least, you know? Um, <laughs> this, is gonna be, this is gonna be so difficult getting used to not having a plus or minus key to cycle through, cycle through my swatches. Uh, you're gonna get pissed off of me saying that, but um, you're just gonna have to get used to it, darlings. Sorry, there's <laughs> just gonna have to get used to me badgering on about the fact that I don't have plus or minus keys. Um, anymore. Rip. Rip to them. Um, yeah. I'm kind of happy with that. There was a dark green vibe, though. What one were you? Oh, no. Oh, maybe not. No. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of here for that. That looks bougie as fuck, doesn't it? Oh, I'm for it. Tell you that much. Absolutely for it. Right. And then back here, maybe this, like, slides open. We'll just pretend. They can get in that way as well. Um, and they can like the customers can come back here and they're not going to buy anything from here anyway uh because you can't sell things like that in a retail store in the sims they'll be looking at the bloody ah oh, are they gonna be able to get into these i'm so worried that they're not gonna be able to get in to have a look at these mannequins but i'll put two more on the shop floor anyway i'll put two more mannequins on the what's that on the shop floor. Um, <laughs> I'll put them on the shop floor. And um, I, don't, I think I'll put them upstairs. I'll probably put them upstairs on this bit here. To put two mannequins up here somewhere. That's what we'll do. Yes, we will. Okay. So. 
what I want to do, I don't think this is going to work down here now I've got this out. Uh, in, oh no, because I still want them to be able to go and look at the mannequins. No, we're not going to use that. We're going to use low-lying surfaces, which come with get to work. And they are good for retail. These ones here. Isn't there a bigger version of that? Or is that the biggest? I always go for the biggest. <laughs> Just shush. Shut up. Do we have, should we go for black? Oh, I think we should. I think we should. So what I'm going to do. Now, I'm not a retail shop connoisseur, so I don't know how things should be laid out. This is how I'm doing it in The Sims. So I'm going to put one down there. I'm going to put one there. I want more than that, though. So maybe what I should do, even though I do want this place to look semi-minimal, I'm going to do one and one there. No. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to just have two. I'm going to have two, and I'm going to have, like, a little seating area here and here. Yes, that's good. Do I do another one, like, there? No, because that's in front of that clothesline there. Uh, oh, don't don't get rid of that. I like that. Oh, no, it's there. <laughs> I thought I got rid of, I got rid of them. <laughs> don't get rid of that. I love them. If I can pop them to there. And we could do a few of these, like, maybe, like, just on each side. Uh, it's going to, again, limit space to be able to get into there. And I know you wouldn't. If you were in a shop, you wouldn't walk and, like, look at the mannequin in the front shop. But I know how the Sims work. I know how this pack works. I'm just trying to think about that, too, you know? I kind of like these. I kind of like these in here compared to... Um, those rounder chairs anyway. So do you know what? You're not invited anymore, love. Neither are you. You can go to hell. Right, and then what I'm going to do on these here is put on some of those, like, pile of clothing. I forget what they're from, so let me find them. Okay, I found them, but this awkward thing has got one snap point. One snap point on this whole fucking island. Not, not, and I don't mean just like an, I, I mean like a country. This is the size of this. And it's got one snap point on it. Fuming. Now I'm going to keep them all the same color actually. And I'm going to get rid of you now because you're facing the wrong way. And I do need to move them down with a tool mod. Okay, yeah, three will do. Not bloody one snap point. Fuming. Well, two snap points, but it's in the exact same spot. That's all I'm saying. I didn't say anything. It doesn't deserve to be said. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, darlings. Right, flop you there. And then the other one here. And we'll change the colours of these. Even though they are, are all ugly. I'm going to change the colour of them anyway. I'm going to do this one. Uh, uh. I think it's going to have to be purple, isn't it? The least bad of what we can put there. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's okay. Okay, so and I also put up some of these here because that's the only thing that's going to go on these snap points. These are from Vintage Glamour. So maybe they sell some bougie products as well. Just so we've got a little get bit of gameplay here. I thought that would probably be the best way to go. Yes, it would indeed. So what I really need now is a cash register. That's for sure. We need to get a cash register in. Um, Probably the new looking one. Is this the new one? I think it is. Oh, no, that one there is, isn't it? Yeah, this one. This one here, and we'll do it in a black as well. So it kind of like blends away nicely there. Oh, I'm for it. Absolutely for that. And what I'm going to do is maybe put some flowers up on these bits here. But I want them to... Oh, I know what ones. Those like lilies. I think those would suit the vibe of this place nicely. Um, where are the lilies? Where are the puppies? These ones here. Is anyone looking forward to watching the Corella de Ville um, live action? I'm a bit fed up with seeing live action things being made, to be honest with you. I think it's... I don't know what's going on, but they, they need to stop. I love Emma Stone, don't get me wrong. And I think she's going to be amazing. But I don't want them to kind of humanise a villain that wanted to make coats out of puppies. Um, 
So I hope they don't go down that whole like Joker route with it. What are your thoughts, my loves? In the comments, let's do this. What are your vibes? I'd be interested to know what you guys think of it. Uh, I've been surprised by a few of them. Um, I really enjoyed Aladdin. I thought that was a good one. And I wasn't looking forward to it because I thought, oh. But I was quite surprised with that one. I did actually quite like it. Um, visually, it was beautiful. Did not mind Will Smith as the genie at all. And I was so scared about that because Robin Williams is always going to be my genie. But I loved it. I did. What are your thoughts, loves? What are your, what are your thoughts, Cruella? Yay or nay? Let me know. Let me know because I'd be definitely interested to hear what you guys have got to say about it. I really would. I mean, this is looking cute, isn't it? It's looking like a nice little retail shop. I can't wait to do this here. I think this is going to be a really, really cool vibe. We'll probably do that the next episode. We'll um, come in here. I'll already have pre-dressed the mannequins up. And we'll change the backdrops and do the setting and stuff. And put plants and stuff or whatever vibes we've got going there. I think that's what we're going to do. So what I need to do first is get you and you. And we need to move you all down because you're all floating and I'm not for it. So elevation uh oh no a minus 0 0.01 let me see if that will do it that's not enough is it no it's not enough elevation a minus 0 0.02 oh perfect absolutely perfect yes it is lovely okay so yeah i'm happy with how this area is looking minimal bougie it looks expensive. I'm for that. So I think what we'll do is we'll move up and we'll start doing this area here. Okay, so the first floor. What we're going to do, I'm going to use these shelves, I think. These are from Get to Work. So I'm going to use these and get automatically salty at the fact that nothing fits on them. That's what we're going to do. I think it's only a vibe. And I think it's the only right that we do that today, to be honest with you. Yes, I think that looks nice. The colour, I'm for it. So I'm going to put lop all these down by the windows themselves i'm not going to do any around there i think i'm going to do the mannequins on this side so i need to bring up two more mannequins i'm going to bring up a, a male mannequin here in front of that window now i can't pop you on that there i can pop you there though i'm gonna bring another mannequin up here as well i prefer the abstract mannequins i may even do the mannequins i thought i could change the color of the mannequins can I not? Oh, oh. Well, that's what we're doing, darlings. We're going to change the vibes. Weird that you can't click on them to change them that way, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some black mannequins because I think they're far more beautiful. There we go. Much more aesthetically pleasing. I'm much more for it. Yes, I'm for that vibe. So we're going to go up here and we're going to do exactly the same over here as well, darlings. I'm going to put the female there. Hello. Pop you there and you there, darling. Yes. Oh, in front of the window. I'm absolutely for it. Absolutely for that. And I think we need to bring up some more seating areas up here. I may do some more seating areas compared to what I've done downstairs. So I may, may, I may just do, I'm going to pop like a row of them along here, I think. One there. In fact, what I'm going to do is face them either way like that. Yes, we are indeed. I'm going to flop you into the middle like that there, my love. And the same with you. In you go. Oh, stunning. Stunning. And do you know what would look great? A nice mirror. What about if we use the vintage glamour ones up here? Like in between? Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let me see that. And in that tone as well. I'm for it. What does the black and white tone look like, though? <gasps> oh. Oh. Yes, yes, we'll put these up here. Let me see that. I think I preferred them all in black, to be honest with you. Oh, God, I'm dropping down. I think I preferred them all in black here. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm doing it. I'm, it's happening. Look. Look what I'm doing. It's happening. Um, th This is an awkward corner here. A very awkward corner because of this. So I think I might get rid of that one. Yeah, screw it. I'm getting rid of that one. Because it made that corner really awkward there. And I'm not for that. It's not the vibe. We're not here for it. Um, Do I pop another one there? I think I will. And another one there. 
another consonant, please, Carol. Thank you very much. A vowel. Yes. Oh, that's a vibe. That is an absolute vibe, that is. Yeah, you know. Now, I don't know what the hell I'm going to put on these. So I'm going to try and find some stuff and pull pull it all out and I'll, I'll see what I find. Okay, it's just going to have to be a mixture of what we've got downstairs. <laughs> because there is nothing that kind of suits being in this kind of like retail shop, clothing shop. Nothing suits it. So I'm just going to do some shoes down here. And I'm only going to use the black ones. Um, and I'm going to use these products on the top shelf. Because they're, these manage to fit on quite nicely. Even though the snap points are so weird along here. They don't sit perfectly. I'm going to change the colours of everything. I think that's what we're going to do. Yes we are. So I'm going to put them like that. Stunning. And I'm going to obviously use this folded laundry. But they only go on two snap points. And then yeah. Sims. So we're going to have to just make do love. So I'm going to do all of these like that. Maybe she sells beauty products as well, you know. Batiste. It is a dry shampoo after all. Um, so that's the vibe that we're going for today. Purple there. Can we match it in with a purpley tone up here? Of course not. So I'm just going to do the blue. There we go. And then you, I'm going to do... Uh, I don't really... Uh, I'm going to have to do the bright one. The bright one with the red. There we go. We'll pop them all the way along there as well. Stunning. Yes. Yes, no, bougie. I'm for it. I'm for it. Um, I think what we'll do is crack on with this tomorrow. I'm going to crack on with this area tomorrow, which is the change room area and the studio as well. So I'll make sure to do a bit of off of camera. So we've got quite, not tomorrow, the next time that I'm doing Let's Build the Worlds. Um, which will be the final part of this as well. So I make sure to do a little bit off of camera, um, getting these set pieces ready. And I'll make sure to go into live mode and show you guys the backdrops and stuff and see what they look like um, with the vibes that we're going for. So the next time what we'll do is the changing room areas um, and her main photography studio and collection studio. I don't know what to do up here. So if you guys got any ideas, as always, feel free to help me out. I do not mind you guys helping me out at all. Obviously, this is a collective community. So I, I would love if you helped me. I really would. Um, so, Photography Studio would love this to be like all mirrors or something. I don't know. I don't know the vibes that we're going to do here yet. Definitely want to put a styling station in. I think this wall would be perfect for a styling station. Or having that... Um, not the styling station, the platform. You know, when they get on and they get dressed and stuff. And then having like maybe a few little areas here where they can get their makeup and stuff done. And have like a big photography studio up here. It's going to be a vibe. But I still want to add a few pieces in here. But I'm, I don't know what just yet. But for now, I think I'm done for today. Um, But this is coming along. This is definitely coming along. So we've got one more part of this, um, which will be out next week. And then I'm going to move on to a new family. I've got a new family coming for you guys that you are going to love. We're going to start building another house in Willow Creek. Um which is cool, which is cool. So yes, that is it, done for today. There we go, my beautiful darlings. We're all done with part three of the Boutique Baptiste, Baptiste Boutique. One of them, we're nearly done with this. Nearly done with this build. This has been a cool build. I've, I've really enjoyed doing this one, I have. But yes, as always, leave me some lovely comments. Get some ideas down below as well, guys, because I love listening to your ideas. I really, really do. Um, so yes, I'll be back tomorrow with a part of the Potter project. We're going to be, as always, in um, the burrow. Very long part coming on. So tomorrow in the burrow, I think we're cracking on with the living areas and maybe one of the bedrooms as well. That's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. So very excited. Yes, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.